7 Weirdest Beauty Standards Around the World Number 7. Scarification Beauty. The Dinka tribe makes certain patterns or designs on their skin to enhance the beauty on their bodies. Scarification of their body in a permanent decorative way is a huge part of the tradition of this tribe. Scarification is usually the cutting, burning or branding of the skin by various tools and techniques. The men of the tribe would cause cuts and bruises on their skin, which would later heal and form scars. They are considered to be a sign of courage in people. This indicates that he has killed enemies of other tribes and shows that he is highly respected in his own tribe. Number 6. Stretched earlobes. Stretched earlobes are a type of physical modification in which the ear hole enlarges as a result of the insertion of progressively larger jewelry or other objects. The Maasai tribe of Kenya has a widespread earlobe custom. One of the oldest and most widespread cultures that practice elongated earlobes is the Maasai tribe of Kenya. Dayak women begin to expand their earlobes when they are young, usually between 6 and 10 years of age. They use metal rings called shang to gradually expand their ear holes. Number 5. 6 kg Headdress. The Longhorn Mao women have to wear a 6 kg headdress on their heads to meet the beauty standards of their people, and it's made from the hair of their ancestors. The women of the tribe have been collecting their hair for centuries and passing it on. To create a giant headdress, wool threads and linen are added to the hair and then wrapped around animal horns or a wooden clip. This crescent-shaped design is attached to the head with white ribbons. Number 4. Moko Koi Tattoo. Tattooing under the lips of the Maori tribe of New Zealand is a very important part of Maori culture. And this tattoo is considered particularly sacred among their people. Moko or face tattoos on women are only on the chin area, whereas for men, their moko usually covers the entire face. These tattoos are usually carved into the face with a chisel or other tool. Getting a moko kawaii tattoo is a way to express one's beauty and personality while connecting with the ancestors and the spiritual world. Number 3. Nose Surgery in Iran. Nose surgery, also known as rhinoplasty is a cosmetic procedure that reshapes or corrects the nose. It is one of the most popular and common facial plastic surgeries in the world, especially in Iran. Iranian women believe that a perfect nose enhances beauty. In fact, men also like that perfect nose, which they consider a symbol of power and social status. Nose surgery helps them achieve their desired look and boosts their confidence. In fact, it is a tradition for many women or men to have their noses surgically bandaged, which increases their social standing. Number 2. Yiba Teeth. The Japanese believe in the concept of yiba or uneven teeth as a tradition of theirs. This refers to a type of dental feature where the upper canine teeth are crooked or protruding from the gums. Japanese people find this feature attractive and cute, as it gives them a youthful and natural look. They even undergo cosmetic surgery to create artificial yiba cheeks. Yiba is not a common feature in Japan, but is highly valued by Japanese people, who believe it is a sign of good luck, innocence and beauty. Number 1. Open Cheek Dimples. Open cheek dimples are a type of facial feature that is considered attractive in Thailand. Open cheek dimples are small indentations on the cheeks that appear when a person smiles or makes facial expressions. These are different from closed cheek dimples, which are visible even when the face is relaxed. Although open cheek dimples are not very common in Thailand, they are highly prized by those who believe that they are a sign of good luck, elegance and beauty.